It's collab time. This is our planter garden of herbs. There's herbs and then there's one thing of squash and I think three things of peppers and the rest of it is herbs and we use it solidly. There's nothing better than chopped fresh herbs in a salad. But that is not what today's collab is about. Random. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. Today I am collabing with the Budget Bounce and Becoming Housewife about our sick and tired of being sick and tired moment. So I've got a list of questions to ask and I am super excited to be participating in this collab because I love hearing what got everybody into Dave Ramsey. I just love it. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Wendy Valencia and my husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan for two years now. We are paying off more than $300,000 worth of debt. We have moved in with my parents to assist us in a much faster debt-free process, but it's $300,000, so it's going to take a while. If you are interested in finding out why we have so much debt, it is in all school loans, shockingly. I will link that video up here, and you can go and check that out. In fact, it's only one-sixth school loans, if you can believe that. We are about halfway through the debt-free process. We, well, I'm not going to tell you how much we've paid off. You have to wait until the end of the month to find out how much debt we have paid off to date. It's pretty spectacular. Let's jump into these questions. Question number one, how long ago was your sick and tired moment? We didn't have an initial sick and tired moment. We had a realization that we did not use debt wisely. When Mauricio and I first got married, we had credit cards and we realized very quickly that we were not the kind of people that could have credit cards. We like to shop and we like to shop expensive and having a credit card just meant we would buy expensive and pay lots of interest. And we knew mathematically that wasn't smart. So we chopped up all our credit cards and started on this plan i found out about the plan through a friend of mine who's also named wendy she told me about this book she was reading and i decided to read it and i was like this is easy spoiler alert it looks easy not easy that was like right after mauricio and i got married that first time we did the plan for a month not even joking Then, about a year into this plan, we had some horrific things going on with my job. I was trying to get promoted. I had applied to go down to Texas because we thought Mauricio was going to be moving down to Texas, and then Mauricio didn't get that job. And this is a whole big long story, but basically there was a brief period in time where we thought we were going to have to move to Texas and Mauricio was going to be unemployed. That freaked me out a lot. I mean, like huge amounts of freak out at the thought of having to rent a place and yeah, because all I wanted to do was pay off this biggest loan. That moment I realized we had to get rid of this debt, even though I guess I had always known that it was just like, yes, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. So I would never freak out like that again. Number two, describe what happened that made you sick and tired of being sick and tired. I think I just did that. Number three, what changes did you make because of this? So probably the biggest change that we made to become debt free is this. We moved into my parents' house. We also have started budgeting meticulously. And you will see in our budget, we have fluff in there, probably generally about $500 a month in fluff that we would not have if we were living on our own. But that's like our cushion to keep us sane since we are making sacrifices in other ways. Those are probably the two biggest things. I mean, I've done some other stuff like Mauricio colors my hair now, so I'm not paying $300 a month to get my hair colored. Yeah, you, you, I know, you just breathe in sharply like this. 
Number four, did your other half get on board with the changes? The first time I was planning on doing this program, about 10 years ago, shortly after Mauricio and I got married, Mauricio did not get on board. It was really hard to get him on board. It took about seven years to get him fully on board. And actually I did a whole video on how I did get him on board, but it was a very slow and painful process. Now, totally different story. Number five, if not, how did you overcome the resistance? Like I said, watch, watch the video that I just put up because that's exactly what I did to get him to overcome it. Basically, I'll tell you a short story. Be quiet. Don't say Dave Ramsey's name because it becomes a cuss word in the house. I am not even kidding you. Don't say it until you can bring up the concept of money and not have them get angry and then take them to see Dave Ramsey live. It'll change your life. Number six, how does he participate? I'm assuming this means how does he participate in budgeting and the debt-free plan? We have monthly budget meetings every week, every week. God, that would be awful. We have monthly budget meetings every month at the end of the month to discuss the upcoming month's expenses. And sometimes for us, it's a formal meeting and sometimes it's a meeting in the car when we're driving somewhere. It just depends on our moods and when the discussion of money strikes us. But basically I'm the nerd and so I do all of the budgeting. I live for spreadsheets. They are like the best things ever. And so I do every bit of budgeting and Mauricio signs off on it and he tells me what he needs in the budget and stuff like that. That's about how he participates. I pay all the bills. I pretty much do everything budget related and I don't mind at all. He's on board number seven. What do you envision your life being like when you have met your financial goals? Well, most importantly, I envision not living with my mother and father. <laughs> that is a huge goal for us right now is to be on our own. I don't think it's going to be coming anytime soon based on some issues at the house. So we are probably going to be staying I'll update you as those decisions are made, but I'm 99% sure we are not going anywhere, at least for a while. Not necessarily because of the budget. That's just an added bonus that we'll be able to pay off debt way faster. Because truthfully, if we move, this process will go from two more years to probably three more years. Not even joking because our snowball will be cut easily well over in half. So the longer we stay, the more debt we pay off, the better life will be. Do I expect we're gonna have boatloads of money? No, we're not, we're just not. I legitimately don't know what life holds for us right now. I know that money will not be easy in the DC area. I, I, I know we make quite a bit of money for many of you. It's a huge amount of money but the cost of living in this area is ridiculous. My parents, the, the houses in this neighborhood are just shy of a million dollars. And this is just a normal neighborhood here. It's not anything amazing and fancy. It's just a normal neighborhood. That's just the cost of living in the DC area. And the some of, the, some of you guys know about living in the DC area and you understand when I say, it's akin to living in New York. It's akin to living in, in San Francisco, Los Angeles. It's just expensive. Will life be easy? No. As long as we are in this area, life is going to be hard. And we will never have huge amounts of money. And you think that once we pay off our debt, we're going to have this huge chunk of money to do whatever we want with. But you got to keep in mind, we don't have rent expenses. We don't pay for 100% of the food. We pay for the majority of the food now, but not all of it. There's a lot of expenses that we're not covering right now. Life will be a lot lower stress, but we're still gonna have to budget and we're still gonna have to plan and we're gonna still have to do stuff. And then we're gonna start our retirement savings again. I'm not saving for retirement right now because that's one part of the plan we are following. So I'm gonna put a link to Becoming Housewife and Budget Bounces channels down below. Make sure you go check them out. And then there will be a link to all the other participants. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.